That was unjudged. I'm so sorry. A tearful apology today from the man who murdered and dismembered his girlfriend in Fresno County. Now Cameron Wright is set to spend decades in prison. Thank you for joining us tonight for Action News Live at 6. I'm Margo Kim. And I'm Warren Armstrong. Today's sentencing was filled with emotion as the victim's loved ones spoke directly to her killer. Action News reporter Tiffany Olin is here now with the words they shared after Wright admitted to the murder. Tiffany. The murder happened back in January, and in May, Cameron Wright pleaded no contest. Today, he tried to explain what led to the brutal crime. We do want to warn you, the details of this case may be difficult for some viewers to hear. I love Sam with all my heart. I was supposed to be your protector, provider. And I ended up becoming what I was supposed to protect her from. On January 9th, Cameron Wright murdered and dismembered his then-girlfriend and mother of his child. 24 year old Samantha Sharp of Porterville. Around 10 that night, Fresno County Sheriff's deputies responded to a domestic violence incident on Hayes and West Parlier Avenues near the community of Raisin City. They found evidence that led them to believe Wright killed Sharp and later discovered her remains in an orchard about two miles away. Sharp's loved ones spoke directly to her killer in court. Did she make it a stop? Did she cry in agony for her mom? Did she beg you for her life? What were her last words? How long did she suffer? Wright was arrested and charged with one felony count of murder and one felony count of mutilating human remains. You left her dismembered body unrecognizable. Her mother had to identify her by a tattoo on her forearm. Wright apologized to the family during his sentencing on Wednesday and claimed he was high on meth at the time of the murder. Not many people high on methamphetamine deliberate on killing the mother of their children. Go ahead and kill the mother of their children. Wright has now been sentenced to 55 years to life in prison. Wright and Sharp share a seven-month-old boy who is now being cared for by Sharp's family. In court, the family told Wright that one day his son will know what he did to his mother. Margo.